Run down, but not beyond repair. A South St. Louis schools charity is not just trying to turn around neighborhoods. It's changing lives for families. Only News 4's Alexis Soto shows us the effort to rebuild St. Louis one home at a time. This is more than a fixer upper. It's the future house for a first time home buyer. It's like in a dream come true. Denny Estrada and his wife Maria know what it's like to watch a vacant house become a home. It's really hard when you try to buy your first home. Sometimes you don't know what steps follow. The Estrada family moved into their home in the Dutchtown neighborhood last year, working with the nonprofit St. Joseph's Housing Initiative. Our mission is twofold, to stabilize neighborhoods and stabilize families through home ownership. So we are focused on vacant properties, long vacant properties. The Dutchtown neighborhood has seen crime rise over the years, and it's a focus of St. Louis's Cure Violence program. St. Joseph's Housing Initiative hopes tackling vacant houses can have an impact as well. There was a big crack in the front wall, so we had to rebuild that. This one on Idaho is the next challenge. The Estradas live down the street, the nonprofit making it possible for them to buy their first ever home. You feel like uh, you're doing a big step, not only for you, for your family too, for my for my daughters, for my kids. So far, they've focused on the Dutchtown neighborhood, right now working on their seventh house. Next year, they hope to do 10 homes, and they plan to expand to other neighborhoods. We are challenged with doing the kind of repairs that we want to do and keeping the houses affordable. Which is why they often rely on volunteers and donations, as well as neighbors. St. Joseph's works with several nearby neighbors to help the families acclimate to home ownership. If they've never had a lawn before and want a little lesson in how to cut the grass and how to maintain your lawn, our first neighbors will take care of that. In Dutchtown, Alexis Zotos, News 4. Mm. And to find out if you qualify or to help fund projects, just head to the KMOV News app.